When Islam's founder, the Prophet Muhammad, died in the 7th century, his followers were split over who should take over. Abu Bakr was one follower they wanted to choose. Others wanted his cousin and son-in-law, Ali. Ali became the leader for all Muslims for five years before he was killed. His son Hussein was killed in battle by what were to become the Sunnis. Since then, the followers of Ali have been known as Shia. Across the world, the vast majority of Muslims are Sunnis. What makes the Middle East so complicated are the maps that were drawn and the national boundaries that were put down about a century ago when British and other empires were pulling back from the region. And the struggle for power today has its roots in how the region was divided, how those maps were drawn.